I want to roast steam. Uh, <laughs> I thought Lonnie did a pretty good job of that. <laughs> okay, the NSF is sitting on the yeah. You should have put the t-shirt on. <laughs> well, as you know, I want to wish my brother a big happy birthday. Even though I didn't get to grow up with him very much. 13 years apart. He was kind of out by the time I got old enough to play with him. He was kind of hitting the road. I'm sorry. But I do remember that he used to love to pull on my nose. They get grown. They get grown. I remember that one. And you know what? I think we still got the same nose. <laughs>
Now, when Dennis and I are going to the same place, like maybe a funeral or her reunion, I know that he's not going to relax until he knows I'm there. Because there's been many a time I'll switch in late to something and he's just standing outside or in the building waiting for me to arrive. He knows. He's, he's like Dad. He's got to make sure that everything's taken care of. <laughs> so, um, when we went to Colorado to say goodbye to Uncle Thane, the last uncle that passed away, we talked about us becoming the older generation. And Dennis said he was the oldest grandson on both sides, the Hookers and the Whitlers, and he was turning 70. Well, that's when I decided we needed to do something about that. He'd done a lot in his 70 years. And this is, this is the time to remember about the good times, and not when they're gone. And you know, me being so little, <clears throat> 13 years younger, I'm hoping that you guys will be able to tell me some stories that I didn't know what happened. So I'm counting on you older ones, especially you aunts. You know, <laughs> you're the one on that's older than he is. <laughs> you can tell some stories, all right? <laughs> and hi, Aunt Fern from Illinois. We have to send her some a video so she can see. Um, we're going to post it on YouTube under Mark C. Keeley if you want to check it out. That's Christopher's account. Um, if you find a lot of fishing pictures and movies, that's my uh, father-in-law doing fishing. He would look at him when we, he was in a nursing home. He would, he would watch him. So <coughs> don't be confused if you see a lot of fishing pictures. You know, Dennis will be in there too. Uh, and one thing that I think I really like about Dennis is he continues on mom's traditions. He likes to uh, send cards to the great nieces and nephews, Martha and Arlene's, and grandchildren. I get cards from him too. At least I think they're from him. Because they aren't signed. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if he was my sister, I could just sign him and send him back to him. <laughs> I also love Sunday when we talk about um, NASCAR races over the phone. We have a good time talking about them, especially when our different racers, favorite racers, are competing each other for a position. I think it's kind of interesting. He's a Harvick fan. I'm a Jimmy Dale fan. So, you know, if they can compete against each other, then we have a good time. And he gave me my love for racing. I really love Thanks, that. Maybe you guys remember it. That beautiful blue Chevelle Super Sport. I mean, he had that thing so souped up for racing. I had to take it one day to school. There wasn't another car. Let me tell you, I did not take my foot off that foot. I drove to school <laughs> with the brake on. Just <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I let up, I started going and my oh crap. <laughs> so I had the brake on most of the time, scared to death. But you know, I think it scared Mr. Hood and Mrs. Atkinson, the you know, high school teachers, a lot more. Because where I had to park, they were standing there in front of the window. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> up there, you know. Their eyes were getting big, and I think they thought I was just going to go right over the curb and keep on going. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm a chasing a boy on a country road and I ended up in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> but did you do something about that too? I walked him out to the car and showed him and he just went, am I an honest free man? Because <laughs> I heard her grilling him later. What did she show you? What did she do? <laughs> it was his car. I didn't think I needed to tell my mom. <laughs> 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 he went down to 
pushed off. <laughs> I wasn't always an angel. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> we hadn't heard that part of the story. <laughs> Said, I don't know that Chevelle, too. You just got away from me. <laughs> I mean, you just barely released that breath and you were trucking. <laughs> but you know, I can make it to Dodge City in one hour, my family says. <clears throat> right? Preach. <laughs> Not saying we approve of it, but you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see them in drive, you know, and I used to be so scared. <clears throat> but now it's like, yeah, we're doing the races. <laughs> and you gotta pass that car, you know? You just can't stay behind the main car that's going so slow. You gotta pass it to go. <laughs> All right, our family hasn't been together, all four of us, since Dad's funeral. And that's hard to believe. It's been almost 10 years, 11 years. So I thought we'd have this time to reminisce a little bit with you. It's good to do it now, before <laughs> things happen. And Dennis, see the suitcase over here? We have stories about suitcases, don't we, too? Flying out to Colorado. Dennis had never been on an airplane since he came back in the 1970s. Kind of about a sticker shock. This was a security shock. Take the belt off and that loses his pants. Take <laughs> <laughs> the boots off. Well, give me a minute. <laughs> Suitcase. <laughs> and we have a problem. <laughs> How big was that tube of toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, big one, but it was too big. That's so why you have to throw his toothpaste away. So, just in case, Dennis, I'm going to put this in your suitcase, okay? And yes, I know you don't need another suitcase. I know. Times. But not every plane took your small bag as a carry on, did they? Sorry. Oh, sometimes <laughs> they had to put it in the trunk. <laughs> in the trunk of the plane, and that didn't go too well with me because he might have to step on with me. So I think that maybe this suitcase will, will cover four, four days worth of clothes. And all the souvenirs that you're going to get on your trip, on your honor flight, coming up in October. So I give this to you with lovingness. How about that? I know you're going to get me later on. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you, big brother. Okay, now he's going to tell the next story. Let me 